Hey Cougs, it's Amanda from SHS and I'm here to talk about Global Protect and how to get connected to our VPN. So let's get started. So uh, let's open up a browser of our choice here. I have Google Chrome. And let's go into the site here, vpn.vancouver.wcu.edu. So let's use our login information to get logged in. So depending if you have a Mac or a Windows, I have a Windows, so I'm going to get this uh, link here, this middle one. Let's save that. Okay, so once it's completed, let's go ahead and run it. And through this installation setup wizard thing, we will just hit next. And then we will select our drive to which where we want to download Global Protect. Hit next. And then allow the app to make changes to the, the device. Okay, and let's hit close here. So we can find Global Protect hidden in our taskbar in this little carrot. And it's this globe icon here. And it says, welcome to Global Protect, please enter your portal address. For the Vancouver VPN, we will use vpn.vancouver.wcu.edu. And then it's going to ask us to log in again. And there you guys go. We are connected to the Vancouver VPN. That was pretty easy. And uh, so if you want to connect to the Pullman VPN, here's how we're going to do it. Um, we're going to add a portal here. And the Pullman VPN is vpn.wcu.edu. And so we're going to go into Global Protect, disconnect from the Vancouver one and then select the vpn.wcu.edu to connect to the Pullman one. And this pop-up will show here. And um, typically there's this gray box that says uh, open global protect. And since I've already allowed it, uh, just make sure to hit always open global protect and then yeah. And there you guys go. If you guys have any trouble um, getting into Global Protect or connected to the VPN, please uh, come and see us. Um, you can schedule an appointment here or we do walk-ins as well. Located at VCLS 225, open Monday through Friday from 8 to 5. See you guys.